Welcome back, everybody. In the last video, we were able to pre-fill uh, the form in the case of an edit. And in the case of an ad, we just did our normal pre-filling or just our normal filling of the default. So now everything is ready so the user can fill out the form. So our next step is to start to do the ad. I'm going to do the ad in two steps. The first step will get everything ready to go. And in the next step, we'll show you how to update the to-do list in the original view controller. So let's do a couple of things here first. First, we want to get the current uh, priority. So what we're going to say is we're going to say let the priority is of type priority. Now, right now, we know that if we look at the storyboard, the priority is in this segmented control and it's an integer. So we have to convert that integer back to an appropriate priority. So just like up here, we converted from a priority to an integer, we're now going to do the opposite. We're going to go from a priority, uh, sorry, from an integer to a priority. So we're going to do um, a switch on self dot the priority dot segmented control segmented index sorry and we're going to do a case of zero we will return we will return dot low on the case of one we will return a dot normal on the case of a two we will do a return dot i. And finally, on the case of a three, we will do a return, a return dot urgent. And since we're doing numbers, we have to make sure we exhaust all cases. So the way we do that is by adding a default, and that will be a return dot normal. And our last step is to remind you that this whole thing is a, a um, this whole thing here is a, a Closure, so we'll have to run this little closure. And if everything worked out, we now have a priority. Of course, the priority is red because we haven't used the priority yet. So now we have our priority. What I'm going to do is I'm going to decide whether or not we're doing an edit or we're doing an add. Even though I call this do add, it's really an edit or an add, so I could have used a better name here, but that's okay. So, I'm going to check whether or not we're doing an edit. So, how do we do that? If let underscore equals self dot the, uh, sorry, to do index, then that means we know that we have what? We know we have an edit. And since we have an edit, we know we have it to do already. So since we know we have it to do, let's just update that to do. So the first thing I'm going to update is the title. And I'm going to make it equal to self.thetitle.text. We also know that we have a description, so we'll do dot the details, uh, sorry, the description equals self dot the details dot text. And finally, we have self dot the to do 
dot the priority and we know that's equal to just the priority. So I've set up, oh, we're going to just need some, um, we're going to have to unwrap some of these as we know and we'll get to that later on, but there we go. I had to put an exclamation to unwrap it. So. If we have an index, it means we already have a to-do. So we're updating the title of the to-do, the description of the to-do, and the priority of the to-do. Well, let's do here an else. What does this else represent? This else represents the fact that we're in an add mode and there is no to-do. So, let's say self dot the to do. Self dot the to do is equal to what? A brand new to do. And which to do are we going to do? We're going to do this one right here. So, our title is what? Self dot the title dot text exclamation self dot the details dot text exclamation and self uh, sorry just the priority so now we've either updated an existing to do because we were in edit mode or we've instantiated a new to do and we put it in the to do the final step here is to update the um, the due date. So how do we know if we have a due date? Well, we're going to check what? We're just going to say if self dot um, due date so it has due date dot is on if it's on, then we have a due date, so we're simply going to say self dot the to do dot the due date uh, dot sorry dot due date is equal to self dot due date dot date. So there we go. If somebody clicks add. In other words, if somebody clicks save, the first thing we do is we get the priority as a priority. The next thing we do is we either update the existing to-do or we build a new to-do. And finally, if we have a due date, we put the due date into the to-do and we know we have a to-do now because either we have one or we made one. Now, down here, as the last step, we somehow have to get this data back from this view controller back to the table view controller. And that's what's going to be the next video. So, we're ready to go. And let me just run this to make sure uh, we don't have any errors. So, we're going to run... So, I can do an ad, and I can do some stuff here, let's do a high priority, let's do this, let's do this, let's click add, and we don't do anything yet because we're not actually saving it. So, in the next video, we're going to bring it all together, and we're going to save the data. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.